Well, welcome to my amateur radio station. Uh, it's not a lot, but I want to show you something really cool. Um, from DX Engineering, I bought a radio analog pan adapter module that I've already installed inside the ICOM 7300. And this is super awesome. Uh, <clears throat> when I first got the ICOM 7300, it's just amazing to be able to see signals on the waterfall display. And that jump moving from no waterfall display to being able to see the band, I would say it's just as big of a jump having a proper pan adapter that goes into some type of SDR. In my case, it's the SDR Play RSP2 Pro. And being able to look at that on a high resolution screen and to control the radio just at a click of a button. So let's take a look at that. I think you'll be impressed. I certainly am. We'll go ahead and turn it on. And we'll see that the waterfall display comes alive. And what's really neat about this is that we can see the entire band at the, at the whole time. And we're looking at a different scale, both on the ICOM 7300 versus what we're seeing in SDR Uno. We can also very quickly jump around. So let's say that we um, were listening to this single sideband conversation, and we want to jump over to this huge signal that's over here. If we just click here and change the mode, we'll notice that the ICOM 7300 followed. And if they come back for us, maybe, maybe. And there they are. And then we can easily change bands. So for instance, over here, we see a bunch of different bands. Um, right now we're looking at the lower bands, so we can switch to 20. Right away it jumps over. We see everything that's going on on the band. We see FT8 in this area. Um, have quite a few birdies. I am in an apartment complex, unfortunately. So there's a lot of random noise, and um, seeing if there's anything interesting. So here's a single sideband conversation. Click over here, get close. And here's the home. What's also cool about this is that uh, you can use the scroll wheel to very carefully tune in a frequency that you're interested in. So we'll go ahead and take a look at one quick little feature that I forgot to mention. So the ability to zoom in at any time is, is really important. So let's say that we want to look at this CW signal or in the general region. We can zoom in and then change the CW and then click on it. Um, I'm just really excited to have this capability. I think this is just so awesome. And if you have an ICOM 7300, you might consider getting this adapter, especially if you already have an SDR radio. Um, the big thing with, the, with this module is that it protects the SDR radio from being destroyed when your radio transmits. Um, it isolates it. Um, you do see the transmitted signal. It's pretty strong, but it's not so strong that it'll destroy your radio. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this short demonstration.